I started out with nothing. I had no knowledge, I had no gear. The only thing I had was the idea of making my own creative business. Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to take pictures, make movies, make websites. I started out with my girlfriend's camera at the time. It was a Nikon D3100, plasticky entry-level DSLR, but it was the best thing for me to start out. I just took pictures of everywhere I went, family parties, nature hikes, pictures of my dog, took pictures of myself, took pictures of my girlfriend. And with those pictures, I tried a new tutorial every day. I learned how to use Photoshop, I learned how to use Lightroom, I could manipulate colors, different lighting situations. By editing those pictures, I learned what mistakes I made when taking that picture. In a nutshell, that's how I learned photography. Next thing, I stumbled upon a video by Daniel Schiffer, how to create a good video. So with that Nikon DSLR, I just switched it to video mode. I think it was uh, a video of my girlfriend making a recipe. Yeah, that was the first one. I whacked it into Final Cut Pro, which was a cracked version. I could make some clips slow-mo, I could edit colors, and by then I had my first video ready. When I look back into it, uh, it's really shitty, but if you don't make shitty things, then you can't learn. It's as simple as that. With that knowledge, I thought, okay, I decided I'm going to buy a Sony camera. I bought a Sony A6000, which is a, yeah, also an entry level mirrorless camera, but the quality was amazing. I bought a Sigma 16 millimeters with an aperture of 1.4. I bought a Canon 50 millimeters with an aperture of 1.8 and also an adapter because you can't use Canon lenses on Sony cameras. That was my first basic setup. It boosted my confidence to reach out to other businesses and I got my first client. It was a cocktail bar and I made pictures and a video for them. For the video, I needed a stabilizer. I bought the Zine Weeble Lab. It's a small gimbal. It fitted my Sony perfectly because I could use the little knobs on the controller. It had like a cool vortex mode. And then uh, with that setup, I started to create and create and create. I took it with me on nightlife events, festivals, and I made videos for free. I just wanted to shoot and learn as much as possible. After some small projects, I felt like, okay, it's time to step up my game. My Sony A6000 was amazing, but it couldn't shoot 4K video. I wanted to take myself more serious. After almost buying a Sony A7S II, the Fujifilm XC3 came into my recommended list on YouTube. Uh, the price was amazing. It was 1,200 euros for a camera that had 4K 60 frames per second with a 10 bit rate, amazing Fujifilm colors, and the look of the camera is just wow, I love it. I'm very happy with the decision I made. I bought it with a kit lens and the external battery grip. Because I had the external battery grip, the camera was too heavy to uh, stabilize on my gimbal, and at the time. The gimbal also broke down on me. I bought the Zion Crane 2. It's a bigger, bulkier gimbal, but it's way more sturdy and it's able to carry my Fujifilm with the external battery. I shot my first wedding with that setup. I shot business events, I shot nightlife events. After that, I had the skill to buy nothing at all. Uh, I wanted to save up my money because I wanted to see if it's possible for me to save up as much as possible and not to get stuck into the gear acquisition syndrome. But then uh, I saw a picture or it was a video, I don't know, about vintage lenses. They have these imperfections that make your pictures really interesting. I looked on eBay for vintage lenses in particular. I bought the same day the Pentacon 50mm and the Helios 44M2. The Helios is known for its swirly bokeh. Maybe I can show you some sample footage. But I love the pictures that I can take with it and I love the analog feel. You have to use 
a dummy adapter and also the autofocus doesn't work so you have to shoot always in manual mode so after one month my next purchase was a new do-it-all lens um, because the main reason was my client wasn't happy with the nightlife project that I shot. I bumped up the ISO way too high. I think it was 3200. So it had this blurry grainy parts in the video and he wasn't really happy with it. Uh, that feedback hurt me and um, I got anxiety. I doubted myself, I doubted my camera. I looked into other cameras that were better in low light like the Sony a7S II but that would cost me another 2000 euros. I looked into better lenses that have a lower aperture because the kit lens only has 2.8. I stumbled upon the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeters. I bought the fringer adapter with it. So the two together are working like a charm. The autofocus is amazing. It works flawlessly. The, the lens itself makes a lot of noise when it tries to focus. But if you use an external mic, like I'm doing right now, you shouldn't have any problems at all. All right, that was it. I have a ton of more gear. I hope you can stay all safe. Uh, I hope you can keep yourself busy. Use this time to learn new things. It's a perfect time to wind down and think about your life, reflect on it. And most importantly, wash your hands, people. Bye-bye.